math buddies, Sir Sherwin here, your math instructor. For today's video, we will be discussing about subsets of real numbers. We will be aligned with this objective, and that is, we will describe, represent, and compare the different subsets of real numbers. To start with, let us illustrate the set of real numbers in a simple Venn diagram. In our Venn diagram, we will start with a rectangle that represents the universal set, set of real numbers R. Then, circles representing set of rational numbers and set of irrational numbers. This is a disjoint set. So let us try to find out later why this set of real numbers is illustrated in this kind of Venn diagram. So let's define first real number. It is any element of set R which contains the sets of rational numbers Q and irrational numbers Q prime. It can be represented by a point in a number line. So bear in our mind, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of the set of real numbers and the points on the line. This means for every real number, there corresponds a point on the number line. And for every point on the number line, there corresponds a unique real number. So here in this number line, we have a point that represents negative 7 and 1 half, a point that represents negative 4, a point that represents negative 2.5, a point that represents 0, a point that represents 3 halves, a value of pi, and square root of 64. So this means that there is a unique real number in every point on our number line. The set of real numbers is so dense that there exist infinite real numbers between any two real numbers. The real number line is constructed in such a way that the numbers are arranged in increasing order from left to right. Arrowheads in both ends indicate that the line is continuous in both directions, one towards negative infinity and the other towards positive infinity. The point which corresponds to zero separates the negative real numbers and the positive real numbers. So the numbers that is present on the left side of our zero are negative real numbers. While those numbers that are present on the right side of our zero are the positive real numbers. Integers. The set of integers is a subset of real numbers. It is any element of the set Z. Set Z consists of ellipses, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and ellipses. Set Z can be decomposed into three subsets, and these are Z positive, which includes 1, 2, 3, and all positive integers. Z negative. This consists of elements from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, until negative infinity. While the third subset is a unit set with an element of 0. Let us observe how the integers are plotted on the real number line. So this is our number line with a negative infinity on the left side of our arrowhead and positive infinity on the right side of our arrowhead. Zero is a number that separates our positive real numbers from the negative real numbers. Bear in our mind these concepts. The integers increased in value from left to right. The smallest positive integer is 1. The largest negative integer is negative 1. The least or largest valued integer cannot be determined. Zero is neither positive nor negative. All negative integers are less than zero. And all positive integers are greater than zero. Some of the subsets of Z are the following. First, the set of natural numbers or counting numbers. Set N consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ellipses. The set of whole numbers. Set W consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ellipses. The set of even integers consists of 
ellipsis, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, ellipsis. The set of odd integers consists of ellipsis, negative 5, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, 5, ellipsis. Let's also define rational number. The set of rational number Q is a set of Qs such that Q is equal to M over N where M and N are integers and N is not equal to zero. Any number that can be expressed as the ratio of an integer to a non-zero integer. These are the examples of rational numbers. An integer like negative 7, negative 3, 0, 10. A fraction like 2 thirds, 5 ninths, 25 over 21, 32 over 3. A negative fraction like negative 2 thirds, negative 5 ninths, negative 25 over 21, and negative 32 over 3. A terminating and repeating decimals like 2 and 60 hundredths, negative 3 and 25 hundredths, 1 and 5 tenths, negative 3 tenths, 2 and 234 thousandths, and negative 7 and 777 thousandths. Let us also define a rational number. It refers to the real numbers that cannot be expressed in the form m over n, where m and n are integers, and n is not equal to zero. These are the examples of a rational number, a pi with this symbol. Pi is the ratio of the circumference c of a circle to its diameter, or c over d. It is approximately equal to 3.1416 and illustrated in this figure. A mathematical symbol E or the transcendental number. It is very important number in mathematics which is defined as a series of fractions as follows. Here E has a value approximately equal to 2 and 718 thousandths which is an irrational number. Square root of 2. Geometrically, square root of 2 is the length of the hypotenuse of the isosceles right triangle whose legs are both one unit. It is approximately equal to 1 and 41 hundredths. Other examples of irrational numbers are square root of 7, negative square root of 21, square root of 3, and square root of 11. The schematic diagram of different subsets of real numbers is illustrated First, with real numbers, R. It is classified into two, the rational numbers Q and irrational numbers Q prime. Under rational numbers, we have the non-integer rational numbers and integers Z. Under the non-integer rational numbers, we have fraction, which includes the common fractions, decimal fractions, and percent. While under integers, we have the negative integers and the whole numbers. Whole numbers are classified as zero and positive integers n, that is, the natural or counting numbers. There you have it. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.